Hello everybody, Dmod, Gmod here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald version in the last episode. Or I guess not the last episode, but the last, last episode. I'm getting a phone call during my intro. Ah, this better be good. Hi, Zachary, hello. This is Le Leo? Lao? I'm gonna go with Leo. I bought another trainer earlier. I won, I won. My coughing really worked hard for me. This is so great. Normally I'd be upset about you interrupting my intro, but you do have a coughing, so I think I'll let it slide. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, two episodes ago, we opened up some doors across the Hoenn region by entering the sealed chamber. And we managed to find one of these doors and entered it. And within it, we found ourselves our first legendary Pokemon of the region, Regirock. And after about an hour or so of trying to catch it, we succeeded. Catching our first legendary of the Hoenn region. That being said though, guys, I have some truly, truly tragic news. This is the last time we're going to be on this route. The last time we're going to hear the Route 111 Amazing Desert theme. It's so sad. I love this song so much, but unfortunately... We're never coming back here. So say goodbye to the awesome Desert Tunes, everybody. This desert has done so much for us. It has let us caught Damsel. It has let us caught Piedro. It has let us got enough Fossil for the Leap. It has let us caught Regirock as he is sleeping here. It has done so, so much for us. However, now, our time is up. Farewell, Desert Tunes. I will miss you forever. At least until the next time I play this awesome game. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, though, now that we're done here, it's time for us to fly back to a town. I think we're out of here. It's probably really hot in the desert, so let's no longer dilly-dally, shall we? Alrighty, back here in Marvel City. This is not quite where we need to go next because, believe it or not, spoiler alert, but there's actually multiple doors that open across the Hoenn region, not just one. We're not done looking for these doors quite yet. However, I would like to heal my Pokemon as they've taken quite a beating. And just like with Regirock, there are a few preparations. I said preparations. Preparations you're going to want to make before going hunting for the next one. And that being said, though, I probably need to buy more Pokeballs. Let me see. How, what am I working with here? Oh, yeah. I definitely need to go buy more Pokeballs, for sure. <laughs> oh, boy. However, before I go buy some more Pokeballs, the first thing that you need to know is that the one that we're going to go after today, you're going to be needing another HM. And that HM is going to be Flash this time, not Rock Smash. So, let's see here. Can Ziggy learn Flash? He cannot. Well, crap. Uh, okay, let's hope something in my PC box can learn Flash. One second here, folks. Actually, you know what? Before we go looking around for like getting a Flash Pokemon, how about we take a look at our found, our newfound uh, Reggie Reggie Rock here, our first ever Legendary. Let's check it out. So here we get Reggie Rock here. It has a serious nature, which means it doesn't have its stats affected at all by its nature. It's a neutral nature, which is pretty rare actually to see. It has the ability Clear Body, which prevents, which prevent, it says it prevents ability reduction, which is a little bit confusing. But I understand they'd have to like you know keep it nice and brief since the text is very small. Like the amount of text they can put for these descriptions is pretty small. However, what Clear Body is, I make it so that its stats cannot be lowered by the opponent. So if you try to intimidate this thing, it's not going to work, for example. As you can see, at level 40, this thing has 170 defense. When I call this thing a Titan of Defense, I was not kidding. This thing is bulky. And we already seen its moves. And oh boy, will I never forget these moves. That superpower destroyed many of my Pokemon. And apparently it's a really freaking tough Pokemon, too. Look at this. Wow. You know, maybe, you know, maybe doing contests with this thing wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Although, at the same time, I think it's kind of funny to imagine, and, uh, like, this 10-year-old kid walking over a legendary Pokemon that was, like, sealed away. And he's just, he's just using it to, like, compete in Pokemon contests of all things. I don't know. Something about that just speaks to me in some sort of magical way. <laughs> Alright, that being said, though, no more daily dialing. I think Tekion can probably learn Flash, so let's see here. You can probably learn Flash. I'll be very surprised if you can't. Alright, let's see. I mean, it's a normal type, and I, I was actually surprised Ziggy couldn't learn it, but I'm pretty sure Kecleon can learn this. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Nice work, Kecleon. Alright. We have ourselves a uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon God himself, Kecleon, joining the team temporarily. And, uh, this is not Mystery Dungeon, unfortunately, so Fury Swipes is a terrible move, so we're gonna be getting rid of that. Even though Kecleon's on my team, so it doesn't really matter, but anyways. Kind of funny how it had freaking Fury Swipes when I was talking about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because for those who do not know, multi hit moves in those games are absolutely insane. That being said, though, I think, uh, yeah, I think Piaggio will still, well, I think Piaggio will stay back over here. That being said, though, I'm going to go ahead, cut away here, I'm going to go buy some Pokeballs, and we'll be right back when I think I'm all set to go. With that being said, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've done all my shopping, and I kind of blew the bank buying Pokeballs here, though. However, it was all worth it. You want to know why? Because they threw in a Premier Ball, and oh boy, that makes it all the much more, more worth it. If only that was true. The Premier Ball here is the Pokeball I don't think I've actually shown off before because you have to buy 10 Pokeballs at once to get it, and I don't think I've ever had a reason to buy 10 Pokeballs at once. However, 
The Premier Ball here isn't anything really all that special. It just looks kind of cool with its red-white design. I actually like red and white to combine together. I think it's a really cool power of colors. That being said, though, here's my Pokeballs going into this. We got ourselves 14 Pokeballs, 30 Ultra Balls, a Master Ball, 11 Net Balls, 11 Nest Balls, one amazing Premier Ball, and 10 Great Balls. I think this will probably be good, at least I hope so, because like I said, I kind of blew the bank buying all these Pokeballs, but uh, let's hope it all works out. That being said, though, we're over here in Fortree City, and the reason we're here is because it's probably the closest place you can fly to to make it to where we want to go. And where we want to go is generally down here on this route right here. So what I'm thinking we're going to do here, since we've already been through this route already, and there's not too much more I can say about it, I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to cut away here or fast forward. I haven't decided which one yet. However, I will be meeting you guys down there where we need to go. So that being said, whenever I decide to do the editing, uh, let's uh, do it. On my way going over to where we actually had to go here, I actually ran into a trainer here of a castle on the rain route, which is kind of cool, because we actually get to see one of his transformations in the weather, which we haven't really got to see before here. So yeah, this is what a cast form uh, in the rain looks like. It has a summer, a summer, bah, I said summer, a sunny form, and also has a hail form as well. But there's no desert form, weirdly enough, even though it's been a weather since, you know, forever. Or at least since Generation 2, but you know, same thing. A little weird, but yeah, fun little trivia there for you. That being said, though, now we'll cut away to where we need to go. Okay, and we're back, and apparently I managed to dodge like every trainer on this route coming here because on the way here I ran into like five or four battles or so, so uh, yeah, that's my punishment for dodging trainers like crazy, and that's probably also the reason I was under level. But that being said though, we made it over here to uh, this familiar looking place. We've been here before, however, it looks like something has happened here. Another door has appeared, but before I do that, what do you gotta say, old chap? A giant rock. I'd like to believe it may indeed contain ancient ruins, but I see no entrance. Buddy. Do you have eyes? It's right there. If you want to investigate, go right in. It's open. Ah, whatever. I'll leave him to be what he is. And here we found the ancient tomb. Sounds like we're playing like Tomb Raider or something here, huh? <laughs> and over here we have ourselves another description here. And this one here in braille writing, of course, is telling us to go to the center of the room and use flash. Now, as for center of the room, I think it's... Actually, let's, let's do some math here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which means, I'm assuming it's like 1, 2, 3, 4. Probably right about here or so. That or one step up. That being said, though, let's use Flash. Oh, looks like I got it right. Well, that being said, another door is opened. And at this point, I think you know what, what, what might this lead to. Check it out. That being said, before we go talk to it, once again, I highly, highly recommend you save your game, which I'm gonna be doing so right now. All right, game saved. Whenever you're ready, step forth. Let's check out this totem. Meet the second titan of the Hoenn region, Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel here is not quite as extreme as his brother Reggie Rock. However, it is a much more balanced defense Pokemon, having a whopping strong, hard-bodied 100 defense and special defense. It is strong in both areas, and also it is quite a bulky Pokemon, being naturally a Steel type, as it resists many, many types and is weak to very few types. So overall, it's a lot tougher than its, its cousin Reggie Rock. That's for sure. Let's see here. So our plan here, as always, whenever I try to catch Pokemon, I'm going to go over here to Damsel, I'm going to spam Dragon Breath, and hope I get a par Paralysis. As you can see, this Registeel also has Curse, just like his brother Regirock, or I guess brother, I don't know, they don't really have gender, so it's kind of hard to say brother or sister, but I'm going to go with brother, because I think it sounds more, I don't know, totemy, I guess. I don't, th I don't think totemy's a word, but anyways. All right, come on, Damsel, paralyze. Oh, okay. As Metal Claw instead of Rock Throw here, so unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure they have the exact same move sets. They just swap out moves depending on what, like what type they are. So instead of Rock Throw, this thing has right uh, Metal Claw. And there's the paralysis I was looking for. Nice work, Gams. Well, I can always count on you. Now this thing here is gonna be quite difficult to bring down. It is a really, really bulky Pokemon with a really good defensive typing. So uh, this will be tricky. This will definitely be tricky. I'm pretty confident this thing can take a few ground type moves too. So let's see. Uh, if I can get some accuracy drops here with Mudshot, that'd be... Oh, or I can miss entirely. Okay, the good news is those are resist steel, so this should 
Yeah, look at that. Look at Arnold's being Arnold's being super useful in these fights. Being a water ground type is really good against these Reggies. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice damage. Oh, this might hurt actually. All right, come on, you can take it. Yeah, look at that. You took Reggie Rock's freaking superpowers. You can take Reggie Steels. All right. Uh, we'll do another mud shot. This should do it. This should bring it to about half, right? I don't know if I want to do another one, actually. I'm a little worried I might actually knock it out. But it still is tanky, but not that tanky. So instead, I think I'll go for a Surf. Ooh, that was kind of, that was kind of close, not going to lie. I thought I knocked it out for a second. All right, perfect. All right, so now that it's all the way down... You know what? Let's go for a Pokeball. Let's catch freaking Registeel with a Pokeball. Or not. Okay, that, that was a little needy. That was a little greedy on my part. <laughs> Trying to get in the first Pokeball. That would have been amazing, though. Alright, uh, let's see. A Pokeball's not gonna do it. How about we try a... You know what? Premier Ball, prove your work. Prove that you're not just some random Pokeball that doesn't really mean anything. Plus, you would actually fit the color scheme of Registeel really well. And there it goes to show you what I get for having faith in the Premier Ball. I think we'll be able to live this because of the attack drop. Oh yeah, we're taking that just fine. Alright, perfect. You want to keep lowering your attack here, not hitting me? That would be fantastic. Alright, I'm, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to heal my Pokemon here, and while this is going on, I guess I could talk a little bit about some trivia of Reggie Steel here. I didn't want to talk too much about the Reggies too much until I got to the second Reggie, because I kind of didn't want to... I know that most people watching this probably already knew those multiple Reggies, however... Since we only had found Reggie Rock at the time, I didn't really want to quote unquote spoil it, so I wanted to wait till a little bit to talk about them. That being said, though, I want to talk a little bit about the ruins and more specifically the description that we saw in the sealed chamber. As you guys will probably remember when I read it out, it said the Eternal Pokemon or Uneternal Pokemon, not multiple. And there are multiple Reggies here, so you're probably wondering what's going on with that if there's multiple Reggies here. Now, my theory, along with a lot of other people's theories that they've come up with while I'm thinking about this, is that these descriptions and warnings that the people put were not about these Reggies of Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel. However, they were about their master, Reggie Gigas. Or Reggie Gigas, depending how you say it. And I personally believe, oh my god! Oh! Are you serious? That was so fast! I didn't even get to talk about my lore my theories i was prepared i had like a whole script ready to talk about while i was trying to catch this thing i mean okay i'll take it that was like the shortest legendary encounter of all time but all right registeel's data was added to the pokedex all right cool <laughs> wow okay i was ready for that to take like an hour like with reggie rock i got really lucky there Unfortunately, once again, in an Ultra Ball, I promise you I'll catch one of these legendaries in a really stupid Pokeball. That being said, though, number 195, Registeel, the Iron Pokemon, with a height of 6'3". This thing is much taller than Regirock. However, I'm still taller than it, so take that, Registeel. <laughs> and it weighs 451. Although, that's a little weird, because you'd think that metal would be heavier than rock, but I don't know. I don't know, but I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, architecture stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, its body is harder than any other kind of metal. The the body metal is composed of a mysterious substance. Not only is it hard, it shrinks and stretches flexibly. Interesting, interesting. And for nicknaming this Registeel, uh... I already used up our great lord and savior Reggie's name, so I don't know what else I could use here. Let me think here for a moment. You know what? I've been playing a lot of Xenoblade recently. I want on Xenoblade High right now. I think... You know what? I think it's a pretty fitting name. I shall call you... Wait for it, can I fit it? Okay, it just barely fits. Okay, good. I was a little worried there. Alright, perfect. I shall call you the one, the only, Metal Face. Perfect. Now we can go find ourselves a Monado Boy. And there we go. We caught ourselves Registeel. That was incredibly quick, to be honest. Uh, I, I had like three whole different topics I wanted to talk about while I was trying to catch this thing, but I didn't get to talk about any of them because we finished up here super fast. Well, that being said, though, that's the second uh, Totem Kai, or Titan, sorry, not Totem. I don't know why I keep saying Totem, it's the, they're the legendary Titans, not the legendary Totems. Although, I guess they can kind of be seen as Totems, in a way, kind of. Anyway, since we caught that thing so fast, I'm going to go take a look, at it, a look at it in the PC box here. Right next to his cousin, Regirock, or brother, or sister, or whatever you want to call it. 
All right, let's see here. Uh, there he is. Hello there, Reggie Steele. How you doing? Good old Metal Face. All right, let's check it out. Metal Face here also has the clear body ability, just like his brother. It has the bold nature, which I think is also a neutral nature, which is kind of funny how that worked out, how he also has a neutral nature, just like Reggie Rock. As you can see, his stats are a lot more even out than Reggie Rock's. They're not as high in the defense stat, however, it's much more averaged out, having a higher special defense than Reggie Rock by a landslide. So, if you want a nice balanced Pokemon compared to Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel's your guy. Or thing, I guess you could say. And let's see. Yep, I had the exact same moveset except it threw out Rock Pro for Metal Claw. Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, with that being said, though, that's two legendary totems caught. Not bad. Why do they keep saying totem? They keep. Be it's Titan. Stop saying totem. You don't actually forget it. They're the totem Pokemon from now on. <laughs> forget it. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying totem on the head, so I'm just gonna say it out loud. It's the totem Pokemon from now on. That being said, though, I had a whole bunch of lore to talk about with these two, or at least a lot of fun, fun, fun trivia to talk about with Metal Face here, but, uh, yeah, I caught it super fast, so, uh, I guess while we're here, I can talk a little bit about it. So, as I was talking about with the Reggies, as I was talking about, as I just said, I'm being repetitive here. Registeel and Regirock, they're two Titan Pokemons, however, their master, Regigigas, is what is known as the Eternal Pokemon, which is the master of all of them, all the Regis. And personally, what I like to believe is that the legendary Pokemon that they were warning us about was Regigigas itself. However, the fact that Regigigas is a Generation 4 Pokemon and that these Pokemon are Generation 3 Pokemon, of course, seems a little awkward to say that for. That being said, though, it's not the first time they've had a Pokemon from the future generation made or in mind for the previous generation. An example of this, for example, is, let's see, a good old, a good example is like Lucario, for example. It was in a Generation 3 movie, and it was also in Generation 3 games, being the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. However, it was a Generation 4 Pokemon, so it's not entirely inconceivable to be a thing. Also, I guess while we're here, I should probably talk about it. Uh, Reggie Steel has a, uh, very, uh, we'll call it controversial sprite that they ended up using in the future games. However, for obvious reasons, once I show you it on screen here, yeah, they took it away the next game because, uh, I don't know how it got approved. <laughs> yeah, anyways, that being said, though, I think that's all I have to say about Registeel for the time being. There's more to talk about with these Pokemon later. However, as you can probably tell from how I'm talking, we're not quite done yet with the Regis, as believe it or not, there's one more door that has opened up across Hoenn that we have yet to find. That being said, though, I was prepared for this episode to go on for quite some time, but uh, it didn't happen. I caught it super fast. But, you know, that's just how it goes with catching legendary Pokemon. Sometimes you're there for an hour, sometimes you're there for five minutes. It's the magic of Pokemon, baby. <laughs> that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time on Pokemon Emerald version, we're going to be going looking for that final door that has opened up across the Hoenn region. See you guys then.